and today i'm here with one more interesting topic uh, that is a record query right so previously we have seen that how to fetch the data from the database by using query entity right so in that process we need to use cdt and we need to map that cdt in data store and inside the data store we need to create data store entity and we use the, that particular data store entity constant to get the data from the database now uh, as appian is moving forward we are having different different approaches here and what we are going to do let's create an expression rule let understand that that part so i am just clicking on the new option i will create this expression rule and i will write that fetch data so it's just a test expression which i will be creating here so let's see what we are getting so now if i click on this launch the query editor so right now uh, we are having two options right previously we don't have these two options previously we only have a single option that was data store entity so what is this new option record type basically now we have we already have record types in appian right so what we'll be going to do without creating the cdt now we can get the data from the record type right so it's the same process the only difference is right now we don't have to create the cdt we can use the record type here because inside the record type when we create the record type we select the source right so right now we don't have to worry about the source here we select the record type and everything will be there so let's see how it, we can do this i just need to select my record type and inside my sandbox i'm having a record type that is this one right so now uh, this is my record type and i'm getting the data preview i will click on create and generate query so now you can see that previously when i was using the cdt the function which i was having previously was not this one i was having a bank query and entity this one so now we don't have to use this and now i'm directly using a bank query record type right let's see what options we are having we are having the record type we are having fields filter paging info fetch total count and the related record data right so you can see how easy it is we don't have to worry about the cdt we we have not created any kind of cdt here we are just directly using the record type right so this is not only about the fetching data from the record type we can also use smart services and we can write the data into the db with the help of record type itself right right so let's test this one and you can see i'm getting all the data which is there inside this record type right and if i wanted to select which field will be visible and which field will not be visible or or let's say which field will come from the record type and which field will not so if i wanted to choose the number of fields means the selection part then what i can do i can just mention that field details inside this fields so let's say if i want only the username so what i can do i can write record type bank and then my record type is sa first record type dot i have that field which is my username so i need to select that and let's try to test it and you can see right now i'm only getting the user id and the username so user id is the identifier that's why it is coming automatically and the username is because we have put down the selection of that field only right so this is how you can configure the record type and that's all that's all about the video and uh, we will see these things in deeper details in our next session so thank you for now and uh, keep watching local